I've been using the all new Huawei Watch GT3 Pro for about two weeks now. In today's video, I'm going to give you all my honest thoughts and review about this smartwatch. Hi guys, this is Big Phil and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest review about the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, which I'll be using it for about two weeks, almost going to three weeks. And I love it. There are so many things I love about a smartwatch and very few things that I dislike about it. And those reasons, those dislikes are the reasons why I keep going back to my Huawei Watch 3 Pro. Because on my opinion, it is still the champion of smartwatches. Even though the GT3 Pro is a great smartwatch with lot of good new features that are not available on the Watch 3 Pro. And I'm going to tell you all everything into this video and please if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button for a lot of good videos come up on big Phil tv let me start this video by talking about the design and the build quality of the huawei watch gt3 pro which it is the number one reason why a lot of people are going for it a lot of people are buying it because the design is great like trust me this watch has a very beautiful design like it's even more beautiful than the watch 3 pro but they are very similar the design looks very good it looks classy it looks elegant if you put it on especially if you buy it with the leather band or if you're going for the stainless steel or the titanium band it just complements the watch it makes the watch to look classy and elegant it is a i mean it's one of the best thing about huawei smartwatches right now because huawei is killing it in terms of design of smartwatches it just look cool and for the build quality it is still a great smartwatch it is made up of titanium which on my opinion is the best material on a smartwatch because my watch 3 pro which i've been using it for almost seven to eight months now i've never had any scratches on it it is strong it looks great the GT3 Pro is the same thing. Great smartwatch, great build quality, and one of the top, on my opinion. This smartwatch has the rotating crown, which it makes navigating the watch so easy because you don't have to touch the screen all the time. You just screw through the, uh, the rotating crown. And one thing I realized is that, is that the rotating crown of the GT3 Pro is much smoother and much, it feels more refined than the previous watch 3 pro there is one button on the bottom which assists in shortcuts you can customize it for anything on mine i customize it mostly for exercises like for the different exercises that i like to do i just customize on it this watch has a speaker has microphone which means you can make calls with them this watch has sci-fi screen which is one of the best because sapphire prevents a lot of scratches and this watch takes 22 millimeter watch straps which is also great because you can use your older or previous 22 millimeter watch straps at home there are so many uh cheap alternatives you can buy them on aliexpress on ebay on amazon there are so many third party uh, watch traps out there. I've done even a lot of videos about watch traps. The watch is very thin and light. It weighs just around 54 gram without the straps. So with the straps, I think it can be around 56 gram, which is still much lighter than other smartwatches in the market right now. So it makes the GT3 Pro a, gr a great smartwatch to use for exercises, to wear it all day, to take to bed because the size is a great thing about this smartwatch. The watch comes with an IP68 and 5 ATM of water resistant, which means you can go swimming, you can even go diving with this watch. And thankfully, it comes with a dive mode. So if you are somebody who loves going diving, then this is a great watch for you because the modes allow you to know how deep you're going in the water and how much pressure the water has. So this is a great watch for divers. Another thing that makes me to fall in love with this smartwatch is the display. This watch has an incredible display. It has a 1.43 inches of AMOLED display, which is so bright. The contrast is incredible. It looks good. I mean, even in, in direct sunlight, you have no issue seeing time on this smartwatch or notifications or even reading notification on this smartwatch. You have no issue at all because the display is incredible. I mean, it's one of the best. Trust me, guys, it's one of the best out there. And one thing that complements this watch, the display of this watch are the watch faces. 
the watch faces that comes with this watch are just mind blowing and there are newest watch faces which i've never seen before i've been looking for these watch faces to download on my watch 3 pro but they are not available these new watch faces are only available for a gt3 pro and they are really good and they're always on display the always on display are still not the best because i've been i mean i've been saying this in many of my videos that huawei always on displays sucks they are the worst in the industry like trust me samsung apple they got incredible always on display i just wish huawei could copy the style of apple and samsung and give us a better always on display i love having a watch with a beautiful always on display so but overall the display of this smartwatch is one of the best the performance of this smartwatch is one thing I dislike about this watch. I mean, I'm not saying that it has a bad performance. No, the watch is smooth, it's snappy, there's no lag. Everything works so well. But the fact that it comes only with a 32 megabyte of RAM, like why? Why didn't Huawei just push this thing up to like one gigabyte of RAM? It could have been better. The internal storage is a lot. 32 gigabyte of internal storage, it's a lot, which means you can store a lot of music in there. You can use the watch for a run without needing your smartphone. You just connect the headphone to the watch, then you play all the music in the watch because it has 32 gigabyte of internal storage. That is great. For the battery life, the battery life is still one of the best in the market, the top. But for my usage, I was able to have sometimes five to six days, depending on the intensity, the days that I use it a lot. Because first of all, my brightness is always at a maximum percent. Like, and when your battery runs down, you can charge this watch wirelessly with this beautiful wireless charger that comes with the watch. But unfortunately, it's not fast charging. Yes, it takes long to get it from zero to 100%. And if you're charging it in a hot environment, like when the temperature is high, it's very slow to charge. It's the same as my Watch 3 Pro. It takes much longer to get it charged to 100%. And the software of the GT3 Pro is the same as all newest Huawei smartwatches, Harmony OS. Right now, it is on Harmony OS 2.1 which is getting better. Huawei still has a lot of work to do to make the Harmony OS as good as the, the, the software from Apple or the Tizen from Samsung. Huawei still has a lot of work to do and a lot of updates. Harmony OS is getting better. It's, it's okay for now, but it still has so much work to do. What I really dislike about this smartwatch is the fact that it is still not possible to reply notifications from your phone like all notifications no it's not possible as of right now i would say very few apps are possible are compatible when it comes to replying notifications you can only read notifications but you cannot interact with them you have to pull out your phone to do all those things meanwhile the watch has a big display the watch has beautiful keyboard the health features on the gt3 pro are the reasons why this watch has been the number one for most people including myself i love this watch because of the health features it has a lot of great health features most especially ecg the ecg on this watch even though it is not available all over the world right now it is available in certain countries especially here in asia ecg on this watch works well, it works the same as that of Apple or that of Samsung. It works so well. It's very accurate. And all the other health features are very accurate. Much accurate than my Watch 3 Pro. Yes, the sensors on this watch are incredible. The step count, incredible. The health, uh, the heart rate tracking, very accurate. The stress tracking, the temperature check, the, uh, the blood oxygen features, all those health features on the GT3 Pro are so accurate. Other features that are available on this smartwatch include things like GPS. Yes, the watch has a GPS. The watch has Bluetooth. The watch has NFC, but the NFC is only available in some countries, not all everywhere around the world, some countries. And the watch has speaker, microphone, which means you can make calls with it. But unfortunately, it doesn't have eSIM. Yes, and that's another thing I dislike about this watch. The fact that it has no eSIM 
means you have to rely on your smartphone to receive notifications, to make calls and everything. As compared to the Watch 3 Pro, which has eSIM, which you can use it as a standalone device, the GT3 Pro cannot be used as a standalone device. And that's everything about this video. My honest thoughts and review about the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro. And now the question is, do I like it? Yes, I love this smartwatch because it is a great looking smartwatch. It is as good as my Watch 3 Pro. It has top flagship health features that are not even available on the Watch 3 Pro, the ECG. GT3 Pro is a great smartwatch for a great price with great flagship health features. Yes, and if you're in the market looking for a great smartwatch that's very accurate, Go with a GT3 Pro. You won't regret it. It's a great watch, man. I like it. Yeah. And let me know down in the comment section, guys. What are your thoughts about the GT3 Pro? Do you have it? Are you planning on buying it? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on Big Fail TV. Until then, see you to the next one.